Dave Mumford. So this is a really good battle. As we get this one underway, Goldstein went early. Smith, I really rate. He's been a great inclusion to this side of Dangerfield. So two of the new... He's got a great example there of how players now just guard space. He's at Jack Zubel. He wants to own the corridor. Daniel Wells behind him and Swallow. And so it takes a bit of courage to try and pierce through the... He worked away from that long, stoppage. Long Ran Duncan Hart. Great play by Gibson. Bursting out of the centre. Danger for a long... Mark and no goals last week. Oh. Harry Taylor. What a player he's been. Two age recruit from Western Australia. They combined the two champs. Waxing Selwood back to Dangerfield, takes on Petrie. He's got a man in the pocket, Menzel. Now a disputed ball to be one in the middle. Dangerfield, down hard and low. You know what, I'm going to change that to knee, BT. I'm seeing where that ice pack is going. But he's a bit... As well now, a succession of handballs. They did well, got it back to Danger. Poor turnover by the Cats. Yeah, Zach Smith was decisive there to Selwood. Now Dangerfield, aren't they uh, in good touch here? Just... Reefs it out and goes long and direct and a danger field sensational grab right on 50. Now not beyond him in full flight but unselfishly to Lang. And no problems at all distance wise. And again he's just really leaning back on them at the moment. Did one direction and then put the leg across the body in the other direction. That's never going to work for him. Lang. And now Selwood, he wants to get it to Dangerfield, back to Selwood. Well, when you can box short, the trainers got their hands up. In the meantime, it's the Cats who are really trying. Taddy's at the back here, Bartell in the meat and the sandwich. Dangerfield brushes off, mullet, then goes for goal himself. The brute force of Dangerfield. Last question, let me, let me explain and then you can agree or disagree. The instruction is if it's a stretcher, we stop play if, if there's an immediate... Goal in the first quarter, he's right out of control. And on cue, there he is again with the first touch of the Selwood. It's the Selwood. Wells applied some pressure. They've combined a couple of... Least kick into the forward line. A terrific finish by Daniel Menzel. Danger field again. Extracts the footy. Finish it all for him. Last eight goals have been goal for goal. Danger field with yet another... Out wide to Goldstein. Danger field getting on the end and he'll run away from the big fella. Had a little bit of a fumble. Panic out the back to... Four to start the first half this week, so seven in his last four quarters. Dangerfield, he just give it to me. I'll do the rest. Storms it to the edge of 50, going back with a flight. Men's expect him to be able to get back out there shortly. He's a kick to the edge of 50. Dangerfield, he's at 21, kick the goal. Now 22. Get to the contest, look at him. Yeah. It's Dangerfield with yet another one. Possession number 23. And right, steals it. Handballs, he knew he had to keep it moving. Here's Kirsten. Partner in crime. Danger, but look at him, body line, the footy danger. Another big contest of footy win. Short one from Kirsten. Still oh, taken high. Yeah. Quick movement out to Dangerfield. They've combined on a number of a couple goals in a game since the 2014 final series. You'd expect us to capitalising there with the second of their second half goals. He's eighth clear and foul in the middle. To Dangerfield, who's having a splendid game. Men's will just well. North Melbourne are normally really good at it. Here we go again. Look at this. Dangerfield has been extraordinary out of the middle of the ground. Oh, good play by him. And now Dangerfield again. Possession number 31 into the middle. They've opened them up again here. And here the Cats are just pouring on the heat. Look at Selwood back to Dangerfield. He's on world record pace, Danger. Yeah, it's just the weight of numbers and the options through the middle of the ground that Geelong can go with free kick again. Oh, who else but Patrick Dangerfield? Yeah. Lindsay oh, Thomas yeah. will find that interesting, won't he? Very, very interesting. He's not happy with Paddy Dangerfield, does he? <laughs> no. So that's just North Melbourne's third inside 50. Have a look at that. Definite free kick for the quarter. It's 12-3 for the quarter here. It didn't mark it. Ball hits it there. Ruggles. Beautiful little knockout. Sets Dangerfield and loose again. And here come the Cats. Dangerfield's at 33. 34 make oh. it after that one. This will be 35. <laughs> I'm, I'm predicting 50 for him. And that's not outrageous, is it? It's just extraordinary. 649 metres gained for Danger. Yeah, out with his form, it's just about back to its best, I reckon. Yeah, I'd agree with you, Richo. Dangerfield getting on the end of another one here in front of me. Great body use. On with you, I think his last year was his quietest year for a while, but this year... How good was that from Henderson, the big man, getting down there? Here's Dangerfield. Really good jokes. But for some reason, Dust, 14 of the 21 goals have been scored down at that end tonight. You can't argue with the numbers, Richo. No. 
you all over it, Rich Oler. Need something out of him in this last quarter. Yep, just asking for a little bit. And Ben Cunnington, not decision on the ladder is on offer if they can get over the top of the top team, North Melbourne tonight. Here's Dangerfield. Possession 44,000, just over 44,000. Biggest crowd between these two mobs at this stadium yeah. since 2007. Dangerfield, another end. Hawkins, he went to Werribee, then back to the GFL to Leopold, then the Geelong VFL, as you said, came off the rookie list to be yeah. out here playing yeah. tonight, they too. Dangerfield to Duncan to Motlop, open them up through the middle. Motlop driving ball, wants someone to come. Dangerfield got down there in a flash. He was involved in the start of it. And somehow, at the same sport, the same speed as the ball was travelling, he got forward of it, Richo. Yeah, he did. That was magnificent running by him. It was a great bit of play by Stevie Motlock. That was a slicing kick inside 50. It wasn't meant for Patrick Dangerfield. It was going to hit, I think it was McCarthy on the chest. Have a look at him trying to suck the big ones in here. He had to beat the ball down there. And he did it after he started it. Dangerfield takes his time, true professional, kicks the goal. Geelong by 28 points now. Dangerfield looking for disposal number 43, he'll get it, he'll explode away. Now with the left foot, tumbling to the goal square. Numbers queuing up here for the Cats, Lang. Dangerfield the fend off and the nice little kick and he says to Joel, so we'll just take it easy from here. A lot of milestone games coming up in the near future, guys. Jimmy Bartell playing game 295 tonight. Five games away from being Geelong's fourth player. Up the forward line wasn't really clicking, but they really got going in the second half. And big round of applause for this man right here. He's been the star of the show. For North Melbourne, I think just not enough numbers through the middle of the ground with Swallow. He can just lose some momentum a little bit, and maybe that's happened for Todd. I reckon he's a bit sore as well. Siren sounds, Geelong to third position on the ladder, and North Melbourne, a rare defeat for them, only two for the year.